On new here at five tonight, a groundbreaking new surgical tool makes its worldwide debut right here in Cleveland. It's supposed to reduce both operating room staff and patient recovery time by making minimally invasive surgeries even more minimally invasive. And this morning, I spoke with one of the first patients to have her surgery done using magnets. It had never happened before until it happened here in Cleveland. So, Julia, first, how are you feeling? Good, really good. I spoke with Julia Tingler, one of the first patients to undergo surgery with the Mars Surgical System, or Magnetic Assisted Robotic Surgery. Her surgery happened at the Cleveland Clinic, the first place the Mars system was used in the United States under Dr. Matthew Crow. Magnetics allows us to manipulate and move tissues during operations, it allows us to move tissues in different directions than we could previously with older techniques. He told News 5 the system allowed him to make fewer incisions for Julia's sleeve gastrectomy a common bariatric surgery, which allowed for a faster recovery time. I was a little slow the first two days, but by Friday, that Friday, I was up and moving. We went shopping and all that. The surgery was a game changer for Julia, who had a liver transplant before she was two years old, leading to a lifelong journey of navigating health concerns and a higher risk for conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. Well, I'm already so prone to all these issues without even being overweight, so I don't really want to add to it. Really and make it worse for myself. So here's how it works. Dr. Crow used the Mars system to insert one magnet into Julia's abdomen. It's equipped with a pincher that allowed him to move tissue around inside her body without making larger incisions. The magnet inside her was controlled with another magnet outside. Yeah, I also got to speak with the CEO of the company that came up with this technology about what inspired him. Turns out it was the sea turtles he kept in a fish tank as a child. And we use two magnets to clean the the glass walls of the of the of the fish tank. So we put like a magnet inside, a magnet outside and you clean the the wall. In Julia's case, Dr. Crow used the internal magnet to move the liver so he could better see Julia's stomach. And so far, it's been a success. I'm kind of glad that we had that machine because I think that helped. Yeah. With me not with you no know, not such a hard recovery. It means the world to Julia and her 4-year-old daughter. She's our one and done child. So I want to have, you know, a good outlook for her as well and be able to do things with her, you know, not sit on the bench at the park and be exhausted from just running around. You never know where the inspiration is going to come from, mm -hmm. right? From the next medical breakthrough. Well, right now, the Mars system is designed for minimally invasive abdominal surgeries, but the goal is to expand and get this system into operating rooms across the world. Yeah, really interesting stuff. So you spoke with Julia. She told you specifically she wanted this brand new technique compared to many of the other weight loss drugs we've seen, Ozempic, for example. She wanted this instead. Right, it was interesting to hear her say that. She wanted the surgery. She went the surgical route. Um, we've heard so much, right, about those um, those popular weight loss drugs. Um, but she said after the she considered her options, Julia decided that the surgery and talking with her doctors was her best move forward. Mm -hmm. He had given me a few options, like, you know, the new Ozempic and, like, the other trial trials and all that. But I didn't feel comfortable just because I didn't feel like there was enough research just yet. Plus, you have... Yeah, and this leads us right into you, Rob, because we are taking a closer look at those popular weight loss drugs coming up at 6. We sure are. That was a heck of a story.